How's it going guys? I'm Chris and I'm back with round two of our fast food challenge. So basically I'm gonna be eating fast food all day today, all vegan of course. We put out our first video doing this last month and it did really well so we're excited to do another round. So previously we went to Starbucks in the morning, Taco Bell and I can't even remember where Carl's we went. Jr. And we went to Carl's Jr. They had the new Beyond Burger. So today we're starting breakfast off at Burger King and then we're gonna do Panda Express for lunch. They have brand new vegan options that I'm super excited to check out. And for dinner, I don't think we've really figured that out yet. So I think we're just gonna get the day started and see where it goes. I'm also a little flushed right now. We just got done with the gym. Uh, so let's head to Burger King. As well, actually yeah. Here we are. We have arrived. The King's Land. So I don't think I've been to Burger King in I don't even know how long. Years. Same. And Since I think the only vegan. thing they have on the menu is an apple pie and French toast sticks that are vegan. So we're getting the French toast sticks for breakfast. Order. Hi, can I just have a uh, five piece French toast sticks, please? Yeah, anything else? That's all. Alright, your total today comes to be two thirty seven, thank you. Thank you. So I guess it came in the nugget bag, but Chris just transferred it and we're actually just gonna use our own maple syrup. We have more in the pantry if you need more. I think that might be out. So Chris replated it for a photo, of course. Of course. So oh. I used our own maple syrup because the first ingredient was cornstarch on the other one. It corn is syrup? still vegan, corn syrup. Um, yeah, I guess so. it is vegan, but it's not the best. Also, I looked at the ingredients of these online. I'll pop it in right here. Uh, they're not the best, but it's still vegan. So I hope I don't get sick. It actually smells really good. It tastes really good. <laughs> Mm. Have uh, you ever had these before? Nope. Ooh, they're really good. I'm honestly surprised they're vegan. Cause like usually French toast has eggs, right? And yeah, milk. accidentally vegan. What do they use? And they're pre-fried in soybean oil, so I don't think there's any cross contamination with um like the oh. flour. So that's good. It might be different per location, but that's what I read at least. So we discovered that these were vegan because of the PETA website, the outline, the options. We'll link that down below. It's a great resource when it comes to finding fast food that is vegan friendly. So thank you, PETA. These are pretty bomb. So you want to try one? Sure. <laughs> oh, we also want to note that uh, Chris, Chris usually, um, Barry has his jacket. Chris <laughs> usually does intermittent fasting. And so we purchased these, but we had to wait a little while for his window to eat. So he retoasted them in the uh, toaster, oven. toaster oven. Yep, so Not it is it. now noon, so. Oh my God, these are really good. Yeah, they're good. Mm. Oh wow, they kind of taste like churros. Mm -hmm. Like if you dusted these with powdered sugar. I would not eat these every day, but it's a fun little treat. Yeah, if you're on the road and you need breakfast. I also read on... You'll probably feel like crap, honestly, if you eat this for breakfast. Well, let's see how we feel. Um, I read on the PETA article that they have oatmeal. Do they? Mm -hmm. So we can get oatmeal there and just get it uh, without milk because I think that by default they put milk in it, so you can just ask them to make it with water. The only thing with that is I don't know how it would taste. I guess they probably put brown sugar in it, but I'll put the info down below. It's another option. You cut off. All right. See you in the next meal. See you for lunch. Well, second lunch. <sighs> All right. So I'm about to call uh, Panda Express to see if they have uh, or if they transition their eggplant tofu. And I think it was the chow mein uh, to be vegan. The websites that we were reading said the end of the month, but it could vary by location. So I'm just gonna call and make sure that the location by us has a vegan version. I'm hoping so. So let's see what happens. How's it going? Um, I, I read online that you're transitioning your um, eggplant tofu uh, to be vegan. Is, is 
Can you confirm if, if your location has a vegan one? Uh, this, you said uh, we're trying to turn our tofu to vegan? Yeah, the eggplant tofu dish that you offer. We actually don't offer an eggplant tofu dish at this Stand Express. Oh, okay. What about the chow mein? Yeah, the chow mein is made with egg noodles. Got it. Okay, thank you. Yes, no problem. Bye. Well, that's a fail. Hi, how's it going? Um, I, I read online that you're transitioning your eggplant tofu and chow mein to be vegan. Um, Sorry, what was it? I read online that you're transitioning to, uh, to for your eggplant tofu dish and the chow mein to be vegan friendly. To, I just wanted to confirm that your location, uh, it would be vegan friendly there for those two dishes. Uh, right now, we're not, we don't have that. No? No, we don't. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Hi, how's it going? Uh, I, I read online that you'll be transitioning your eggplant tofu dish and the chow mein to be vegan friendly. I was just wondering um, if, if your location had a vegan friendly option for those two. Oh, I read online that um, the the eggplant tofu dish that you you carry is going to be vegan friendly as the end of the, this month, and I was just curious to know if if uh, if it if it is in we fact. Don't, we don't we don't sell the eggplant tofu here. Oh, okay. Thank I'm you. Sorry. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, I give up. All right. So. The Panda Express will definitely be in the next video. I hope. But um, as of now, we're gonna figure out another vegan fast food lunch option and we'll let you guys know what we ch choose, right? Yeah. I'm like a random voice in the background right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time for lunch. Um, we kind of failed with Panda Express. I called three locations and none of them had the vegan options yet. So the article that we read from um, They wrote about Lively, it, but it was, um... Live, live kindly? No. I don't know, anyways. Anyways. They said it was going to be rolling out at the end of February to most locations, but it's the absolute end of February today, and I guess Vancouver, Washington didn't make the cut, so we're going to go to Panera instead, and then we're also going to go to Subway. So, I'm excited. Um... I guess they're both fast food e. I know. I think Subway. There's the most locations around the world. Shit, my camera's gonna die. Forever. Uh oh. So yeah, let's do it and uh, show you what we get. Oh. It's blurry. So on the Panera website, they actually have an article about eating vegan at their restaurant. So that's super helpful. Um, so they go through all the bakery items, bagels, breads. What you can eat for breakfast, salads, soups, broth bowls. So I think I know what I'm gonna get and I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna get two things I think just because. A 10 vegetable soup and a bread bowl. Yeah. And then um, the Soba noodle bowl with edamame. So I ordered a 10 veggie soup in a bread bowl. And what was it? <laughs> edamame. The soba noodle bowl with edamame. And I got an apple and chips for, for a side. They also have a lentil, what is it? The lentil quinoa bowl, which is vegan too, but we didn't get that. Subway. We just got uh, Panera, but we just decided to get this for later, so we won't have to come back out again. So it's been a little while since I've had Subway. So Let's get dinner. Should be good. I thought they were closed for a second. <laughs> Can I do a six-inch uh, Italian? Uh, 
Um, no meat, no cheese, just all veggies. All right, you want the red toast there? Uh, no thanks. Uh, are you getting another sandwich? No. No, that's all. all right. And the guacamole. And then I'll do also um, the, the brown mustard. Perfect, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, anything else? Uh, salt, pepper would be good. No, that's okay. That's all. Yeah. All right, we got our beautiful sourdough bread bowl. Wow. Then we have our veggie soup. Hope this is the veggie soup. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> really? It's chicken noodle. I'm just kidding. But really. Kidding. But what the hell? And they forgot Chris's chips. Now I have to go back. Again! Fast food places, come on. All right, just a quick update. I just got back to Panera. I'm gonna swap out the chicken noodle for the 10 veggie. I guess this is a lesson to always check my food. They messed up at Taco Bell in the last video, so I should have checked it this time, but I'm a fool, I guess, so gonna swap it out and go home and eat. All right, we're back. All right, here we go. So, it smells so much better than the other one. So I got the 10 veggie soup. It's a lot of veggies. I'm gonna add it to the bread bowl. Ooh, that looks really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we also got this soba noodle with edamame. They gave me the chicken one. I didn't even check. They did? No, it's the edamame. All right. So they both look good, smell good. I'm gonna take photos and eat. Here we go. It's time to dig in. Mmm. It's actually really good. Wanna try? Yeah, let's get a close up. Wanna dip that bread? Mm-hmm. Do this too. Ooh. It smells spicy. Is it spicy? Mm-mm. Is it peppery though? Maybe bell, maybe I'm smelling bell pepper. No. No? A little pepper, but no. The one thing I've been thinking about with these videos, the fast food videos, is like, I guess all the waste that comes with it. Like they put an apple in like this container. And I don't know if we could ask for fully prevent it, like with to go or like ask for, yeah. Um, but we're, we're probably just gonna start eating at, at the, the place, restaurants. Yeah. When it's, uh, if we do this again. So. Yeah, I was just concerned about- It doesn't about, feel good to have all this. Yeah. For no, it's a freaking apple in there. But I was also, I'm, I'm a little concerned about like filming in public places. And I don't know how like thorough we could be about things, but I guess we can just like find seats in the corner and like yeah, do our own thing. For sure. So that's our bad. Mm. It's really good. Oh my God. What is this? 10, 10, 10 vegetables. This soup. is so good. Mm. We should make a recipe like this for the blog. It is super oily though, look. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just eating oil. Mmm, yummy. And then we have the soba noodle bowl with edamame. Mmm, okay. not bad. What there? The noodles look interesting. Yeah, it's not my They're favorite. They're like speckled. And then we got chips. Friggin' love chips. Hmm. Maybe we need to mix it. Yeah. I feel like it's not as flavorful as the soup. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't get this again. Mm. What's cool is um, these are on like the national menus, right? Mm-hmm. Because I know, like for example, the Panda Express, that's still rolling out. We still don't know when it's going to come to our area and all that. And then... Carl's Jr. from our last video, um, the Beyond Burger is mm. not widely available yet, but I think it's gonna start rolling out. It is. Someone messaged me and they said that they didn't have it yet. I think it's at most locations. Oh, okay. I don't think it's at all though, right? I, I thought it was, but it might not be. Um. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that because this is widely available. Can I just bite it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a mess. Mm. Dinner time. So like Chris mentioned earlier, we went to Panera and then we went to Subway right after because it was right by it and um, it was just so much easier. We didn't have to leave the house again. 
So I tried to film when he was ordering, but then the camera the camera died. So then I like tried to take out my phone. It was a whole fiasco. Yeah, and I was like trying to tell him to start all over, but like he was already ordering, and he's like, "I'm not gonna start all over," <laughs> because the lady would have been like, "What the hell?" Um, so let's go over. Oh, Subway, what breads can you get? Is it so? Bear off the table. Barry, hey, off. Come on. All right. So I got the Italian bread, but I think you can also get the seven grain wheat. Um, let me double check. There are a few others you can get. What website were you using for this? Google. Google. So most of these fast food restaurants have some sort of allergen information on their website too. So if you read something on PETA or wherever, you can always verify on the actual mm. website of the restaurant. Yeah, since they're really large chains, most of them have like like the ingredients. Yeah, let, you know, if they at least has eggs or... Yeah. So uh, this hearty is... Italian, Italian, and sourdough. Does, I didn't see sourdough. Does, I don't think they had sourdough. Maybe anywhere. they used to. Yeah. So we'll link this PETA article down below. Um, they go over most... They go over a lot of things, actually. Yeah, so one other thing, too. At select locations, not up here, I, tr I called most of the uh, subways in our area, or I looked online at their menus, and um, they didn't have them, but some, some I think a 1,000 plus restaurants, uh, subway restaurants, have black bean patties, and it's called a Malibu veggie patty, which is also vegan. The okay. regular garden veggie patty Isn't. that they have is not vegan. It has eggs in it. So, Those um, I know. And then I think they rolled out falafel to a thousand locations too. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah so, that's really cool. Of course, none of them are available by us, but if it, is hap if it does happen to be available in your area, check it out. Let I'd love know. to try that. So what'd you get? So I got a Here, six get... inch veggie sub, veggie delight, with um, just all the different veggies, cucumbers, olives, onions, banana peppers, Guac, mustard, spinach, tomatoes. I think that's about it. I'm gonna put my own salt vegan cheese on it. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna put my own vegan cheese. Um, I was thinking about putting tofurkey slices too, but I think I'm just gonna go for the cheese. If you're eating in store, feel free to bring your own vegan cheese. Um, you can put it on afterwards. You gonna toast it? Yeah, I'm gonna toast it. So I didn't have them toasted in the store because I was planning on putting cheese on it here and toasting it myself, so. I'm gonna do that and then we'll eat. So Chris added some, yeah. just some shredded cheese. That's actually all we had and toasted it. This is day ass cheese. It looks really good. It looks so good. I'm gonna burn my hands doing this. The only thing is, oh, did it get soggy actually? It did, so I was gonna say it did get soggy, but after I toasted it, it's a little more crispy now. Sandwich King himself. Mm. Mediocre or best. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think it would have been better if it was fresh, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I messed up by um, ordering this earlier and just letting it get soggy. I think if it was nice and toasty, fresh out the toaster at Subway, it would be bomb. Yeah, I think so. Also drinking a Modern Times beer, loving it. Got that at Subway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Imagine. That'd be really cool. So bring your own jelly slices or vegan cheese to Subway or bring it home. Would easily take this to the next level. Um, I mean, I just put the cheese and it's good, but I feel like without it, it would have just been like, mm, like I guess I'll eat this, you know? Subway's gonna get like a hummus or something. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good. I feel like it'd really, sorry guys, I'm loading the dishwasher. That's where I am right now. But it, yeah, I feel like a hummus is easy. Yeah. And I think that's appealing to non-vegans too. Yeah, especially places that have the falafel. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, those maybe they do. Too. Mm. Well, I just think that it's a fast food option. Yep. It was easy, it was affordable, and it's available almost, and not almost anywhere, I don't want to say well, that, but it's very widespread. I mean. So we have like the most yeah. franchises, right? Or something? Yeah. Per, I don't know what. Sorry, talk. When we went on our road trip, Subway was literally almost at every rest stop we went oh, that's to. True. So. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just it's a good option. And if you have like Chris was saying, if you have the option to bring your own cheese, even bring your own hummus or a spread of uh, of some sort. Um, popping that in would definitely elevate the sandwich. For sure. 
But still a good option. I'd get it if we're on a road trip or if we were in a pinch. For sure. I didn't even try it, but I feel like I know what it would taste like because yeah. it's just bread and veggies. You probably had it before. Yeah. Um, I think that wraps it up. Yeah, I don't know me... if we're going to do dessert. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any more. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> if you have any more suggestions for fast food restaurants or just like um, chain restaurants, places you guys want us to check out or cover in these videos, let us know. I really want to do the Panda Express when it happens. I really so. want to do that too. That'll be really fun. Really sad that it didn't happen. But we tried. So, so maybe we'll part three will happen. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope you had fun hanging with us. We love y'all. We're going to have some beers and just chill. And do and some booze. Have a good night or morning or whatever time of day it is. Love y'all.